What's up YouTube? Brandon here with BIOS bringing you the iPhone 5, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, uh, pretty much any iPhone running on 6.0, um, iPad, uh, LTE versions and whatnot. Um, I'm going to bring to you, showing you that how you can change your carrier logos. Um, carrier logos like AT&T, Verizon, uh, where they're up at the top by the signal bars and um, whatnot, and you can change that. So first things first, in the description down below, I'm going to put a link to where you can download this. Uh, this is for Mac and Windows. Uh, I'm going to try to get the Windows link for you. Um, but for right now, the link that I provided is for Mac, so just go ahead, type that, in, or click on the link, and it will start downloading. Double-click it. You're going to run run the stuff and then it's going to bring to you this in the mount. Here's the application and here are the logos that you need. So um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the application. For me, I already have it installed on my computer and on my phone. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get started. So we're going to click let's get started. Now for this, you're going to need to find your version number. To how to get to your version number, what you're going to do and I will switch to mirroring mode. What you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to general and then you're going to go to about and right down here it says uh, carrier AT&T 13.1 so that's our version number and as you can see up at the top left hand corner I have a Batman signal uh, proving you that uh, this does work on the iPhone 5 so what we're going to do is we're going to enter in our version number which is 13.1 and we're going to click next and of course it's for the iPhone but here's the iPad 3G or LTE version and right here you're going to pick your carrier so if you're Verizon you're going to go all the way down to uh, Verizon which is right here um, or you're like me on AT&T you're going to go to AT&T just click next now for this what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, the Zeppelin logo files that you got um, I will put a link in the description as well to a site to where you can download uh, more Zeppelin logos um, that people have created so you're not just limited to this but uh, I like the Dark Knight one so this is what I did so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag into these little squares both of them where they normally go you see etched in uh, black and white and here's they are and they're named preferably and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click compile carrier update IPC C for a second one and uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in your iPhone to your computer like so or iPad it's gonna open up iTunes once my uh, computer stops being so slow and loads yes I like Eminem no I don't want to do that yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the option key for Mac users and I believe it's a uh, control key for Windows users um, and then we're gonna click restore on the iPhone but make sure the option key is hold, held and then what we're gonna do is you see the original and then you see the US version right here we're gonna click and we're gonna open it and right now it should say updating carrier and then when you look at your phone um, there it is it's the Batman logo so that's how you guys do it. So this is how you change your carrier logo on your iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPad, or I, 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 don't, I don't know if this works on the iPod. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's just a, um, it has to have a carrier thing for it. So uh, I don't believe this is for the iPod Touch. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. It'll really help me out. And see you next time. Peace.